The concept or philosophy of naval operations has always been to project power from sea. The carrier air wing brings a whole new weapon and a whole new range opportunities to battlefield commanders. You don't need permission to use a foreign country's runway or air base. We go to where the battle is. You can take a, a pretty good capability to the war on a carrier without being obligated to some other country. Carrier in the naval mindset of how we employ it has just been a standalone uh, big sword for national foreign policy. We were always outnumbered, and I'm here today because uh, we had a couple of very experienced pilots. Uh, Jimmy Flatley gave him the name the Grim Reapers, and uh, he was a new skipper and terrific guy, and uh, you couldn't ask for a better commanding officer. Every squadron's history is, is evolving. I think all of naval aviation is very proud to see that squadron reborn as the lead squadron for the F-35C. The primary characteristic that's needed in a Navy aircraft is obviously to be able to launch and recover on a ship. Well, the first thing, you have to have different landing gear on it. Bigger landing gear, a bigger wing. We have a, an exceptional uh, control of our flight path. The airspeed stability of the aircraft, is again, is exceptional. Those are two key components of making an aircraft easy to land aboard an aircraft carrier. The pilot doesn't need to focus on certain specific tasks like operating the radar, operating the electronic warfare system. The airplane does all of that automatically. The airplane is a dream to fly. It is very easy. The jointness that this aircraft brings to coalition operations is unheralded. It's never been seen before. It can fuse all that data and data link that out to the rest of the battle group. And ultimately, that makes the battle group more survivable. The sea lanes are international waters. That's where we operate, where the horizon provides us a level of stealth uh, under the cloak of darkness and go all over the world. Now they have an airplane that, that operates in the same way in the air. And the Navy protects our international interests abroad daily. It's a potent force, and uh, that's why when things happen, my, you can take the group over that will, will help us do the job. What we do now, if we bring F-35 into the mix, is we make that carrier strike group uh, infinitely more capable. The maintainability of the aircraft uh, was designed from day one, and that's not just from the internal components, but from our access and maintaining that stealth, maintaining that LO signature. So the LO maintainability has been designed to meet the, the critical needs of the U.S. Navy while operating in the harsh environment of shipboard operations at sea. We can go as far or further without refueling carry a bigger payload, use better sensors, stealthy so we arrive to the fight unseen, we eliminate targets without having to use supporting aircraft to go with us. We're more efficient, more lethal, and more survivable.